I just came back from watching Sound of Freedom here on Saipan, and I had some thoughts that I wanted to share with you. This is for people who might be on the fence as to whether they want to see it or not, given all the uh, controversy that surrounds it, or it's for people who might be thinking of downloading it free, uh, you know, over the internet at some point. So just some thoughts that crossed my mind that I wanted to share. First, let me say, um, I am not American. I am not a citizen. I don't vote. I'm not left or right. I'm not a Democrat or Republican. I don't have an ideological agenda or political agenda to push. I'm simply giving my thoughts as someone who is ostensibly on the outside and looking in. So these are see, four reasons why I chose to see Sound of Freedom uh, today and why I'm glad I did. Here on Saipan, the first showing of the day on Friday is only $7.20. I spend more than $7.20 buying a um, tube of Dr. Bronner's toothpaste. So this is definitely something that I could afford to lose if, you know, if it turns out that it wasn't a good experience. Second, if, it, if the movie is being unfairly disparaged and tainted by all the controversy, then I wanted to support it while it's still in the theaters. I didn't want to download it afterwards because uh, I'll share with you that I think if you do wait and download it free, sure, you'll save a few dollars, but you'll miss the opportunity to help a little guy, um, meaning the uh, Angel Films, the producers, who spent, I think, 15 million, and now the movie has grossed 100 million just through word of mouth. And you'll watch it and you'll say to yourself, what was all the hoopla about? Who is it in their right mind who wanted, who didn't like this movie? So, um, to avoid that happening, I wanted to support it while it was still in the theater. And third, I was curious, given all the um, controversy that supposedly, you know, is involved, I wanted to see what it was all about for myself so I could make an informed opinion. And as I mentioned, you'll kick yourself later on. Trust me, after you watch this movie, you'll kick yourself um, for having delayed it or you'll kick yourself for... Uh, not realizing what's what might be going on. Okay, I'll give you a list of things that this movie is not. And these are th some of the thoughts that crossed my mind as I was deciding whether to see it or not. This movie is not a conspiracy theory. This movie is not a message movie. This is not a right-wing movie. It is not, you won't be converted to QAnon or, you know, to, or change your political affiliation if you have any after watching this movie. It, the movie does not get graphic. One of the things that I was concerned about is if I'd have to sit through scenes that were that were too graphic and uh, distasteful. And I can assure you, this movie is not that. It is not. Um, it is not, as some people say, hard to watch. It's it's only hard to think about. Meaning, it's done very well, executed very well, and it's not difficult to watch. It's difficult once you understand what's being talked about but never shown i was concerned i might be too depressed afterwards to you know to function but that is not the case if anything you'll be you'll be riled up about um having fallen for the um for the distraction that people are putting up in front of this movie and what this movie is this is simply a well-told story Again, it's not a message movie. It's not a, um, a conversion movie of any kind. It's simply a well-told story in the tradition of many great well-told stories that are based on, on real-life events. It's a well-acted movie, from the child actors to the uh, protagonist. Very well-acted movie. It draws you in, pulls you in. You'll definitely enjoy it. Um, I also want to add here what doesn't matter. If you watch some of the and some of the reviewers discussing the movie, I find that they get pulled into a discussions about things that don't really matter. And for example, the actors or the director's politics. Let me ask you a question. Do, did you or do you enjoy Clint Eastwood's movies? Did you or do you still enjoy Clint Eastwood's movies even after you found out his political leanings? Yes, they're still very well made, and um, th that the, the actor's political stance doesn't bleed into the into the content of the movie. 
Um, and I can say that uh, about this as well. Don't get pulled into an argument as to whether it stays true to, you know, real events. No movie stays true to real events. Let me ask you a question. Did you enjoy um, Tom Cruise's Jack Reacher films? Uh, there are people I've read on the Internet who will complain that it didn't stay close to the source material. As a function of getting the most entertainment value, most writers and directors and screenplay writers will deviate from the source material in order to tell a good story. And, and so don't concern yourself with whether the aspects of the real story are being questioned. That's not an issue that comes up in any movie, whether it's The Godfather or whether any movie that uh, is even loosely based on real events is going to deviate from, from you know, what actually happened. So don't get pulled into that, that argument. Um, what also doesn't matter is, oh, well, speaking of Tom Cruise, uh, what also doesn't matter is the religion of the writer or director or actor. Let me ask you another question. Speaking of Tom Cruise, did you enjoy Tom Cruise's movies, even though he's a Scientologist, uh, much maligned uh, religion? Uh, yes, he still makes great movies. So don't get pulled into that argument. So basically, the bottom line for me is um, don't let other people's issues and agendas uh, and attempts to disparage a movie, any movie, but this movie in particular, from and stop you from seeing it because, you know, they identify it as a right-wing movie and you consider yourself left-wing, so you don't want to support it. You know, don't get pulled into any of that. It's simply a well-told story, well-executed, well-acted, and it deserves a, um, some attention. And that's why I'm doing my part to, to help it out. Now, and this is a quote that I like, whenever something is referred to as controversial, that's just a... Um, another word for someone's power is being threatened. So if something is controversial, it means someone somewhere threatens to lose power, status, money, or, or something. So keep that in mind as to why a movie like this, which is simply a, a story that's being told, seems to be controversial. Uh, is it because someone's status and power is being threatened? So that's my take on it. Uh, Hope that's helpful for, for any of you who are considering seeing the movie. I definitely am glad that I did. And it is a, definitely a well-told movie. In fact, it's something that I might even see again, and I rarely, rarely do that. So anyway, leave your comments below. And uh, as I said, I've decided to throw my hat in and join the discussion. And I'd love to hear what you think about it, whether you've seen it or not. If you have seen it, what you thought. If you haven't seen it, why not? And uh, let's get a conversation going. I'll see you in the next video.